Hello YouTube and welcome back to our Gaul game full of Gaul puns. It's been very enjoyable. We've had a great time here on stream. Don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic. If you want to join us for such shenanigans, um, we we're just talking about overarching strategies for the game. Uh, and and they, they require both heavy science and heavy culture if we're going to do the carbon recapture Diplo victory, which I think I'd like to keep as an option at the very least. What it does do is create an awkward spot for wanting to kill Shaka because uh, we want to be on different side of the tech, tech trees because I want to get to industrialization for uh, so that we can start polluting with coal mines. Uh, ooh, hello. And that's on the opposite side of the tech tree as, generally speaking, the war things that we want. So slightly awkward. But I think we'll just keep expanding for now. And I might switch this to a holy site. Or at least figure out where the heck the holy site should go. If I mine that, I get this tile from him. And that's actually important. We should get a mine here and culture bomb this tile and this tile. This tile, if we are going to war him, uh, is a great spot for like a siege unit or even an archer. Something like that. Because it'll be in our territory. Uh, and therefore, easier to uh, protect. Yeah, we go here. That's on its way. We shall continue to explore. Oh, hello. Alright, well, I'll take this first. Now, we're already at Man-at-Arms, and the idea of doing the rush, we're, we're sort of past that window. I think if we're going to take out Shaka, it's going to be Renaissance or later. I think our policies are fine. Build a pasture. We, we've got some builders coming down. We've got a ways to go before feudalism. But I can get, pro I can probably chop things and get some more farms. I've got three farms. I'd like to make three more. I think I'll culture bomb this as opposed to this. And then work whatever your best food tile is. I could throw a farm here. Honestly, might not be too bad. Hey, that you can't renew your Prime sub on mobile. That is kind of lame, Hybrid. I appreciate the effort, though. And thank you in advance. Yes! Six faith per turn from Stone Circles. I want this pasture for horseback riding. I don't think I need to fo to force the usage of this tile. Because we can chop out our last couple population and we need the housing. But I think I want to continue to buy builders. 130 faith for the next one. Or 260 gold. I'd also like to wait for uh, feudalism, but sometimes we can't do all the things all at once. All right. Like that. Instructor Ma, thank you for the tier two. Thank you for the full year of support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yo, TGM. Happy New Year. Hope all is well. Happy New Year to you. Thank you very much. And welcome on back for the full year support. Thank you for the up-tiered sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My man. Switch the horses. We can switch the horses here. That's a good idea, actually. Do this. And then that. A very good idea shaves off one turn on growth we, we got so many good tiles here i need the city to grow we should actually get them a builder and chop out this jungle i want to i want to util, utilize all of our magnus chops and then maybe move magnus we'll get that city up and running pretty quick uh dejvo dejvo thanks for the follow oh dido likes us let's make friends you want to give me horses i don't want your horses brah All right, we're doing old school trades. Let's 
30 Diplo favor. We get a bunch of gold. I will take it. I will take that. Yeah, let's make friends with Dido. Pachacuti doesn't hate us either. The problem for going... the pro Another issue with going to war with uh, Shaka is that we're going to kill our Diplo. And in the Diplo strategy, uh, that may not be ideal. Because we're, we're effectively going to lose a bunch of Diplo favor per turn by doing so. And I don't love that prospect. I think I buy this tile and make a farm triangle here. It gets us most of the way to uh, feudalism. And cranks out another builder, which is nice. Hi, Alex. How you doing? Got a snow day? You had the day off scheduled anyways. Uh, <laughs> now you have it with pay. Nice, Nidzilla. That's amazing. Could I declare Sue's war instead of surprise war? Absolutely. I was thinking if we do want to war him, we should use a, a, a Cassius Belly. Ideally. Let's um let's sell our open borders to everybody. Even for 20 gold, I'll take. Every little bit counts. Anybody want our iron? Yeah, okay. Might as well. Ooh, what are you building? Great bath. Nice. I can go get this city, I suppose. I'd prefer... I'd prefer the ones in the south, but... Let's go there. This seems like an okay one. Norway cities, that's fine. All right, let's find the uh, wonder. There's Uluru. So only eight era score needed now. How does Diplo victory work? Uh, you need Diplo points. You will start the Congress in the medieval era, uh, and there will be uh, there will be two votes per Congress generally, um, and you can, therefore you can win two Diplo vis diplomatic victory points by by voting for the correct outcomes. Um, and then there are other ways of getting it, such as carbon recapture, which is kind of what we're targeting. Petra City up where? Over here? Uh, there's no way I can get this. Uh, I guess maybe not no way, but it looks, it looks ambitious. It looks pretty ambitious to try to get over there. No, Scotland, you rascal. What a rascal. I was going to say, I want vision on the city center. Yeah, there's some Diplo points from Wonders as well. Potato Palace and uh, uh, Mahabadi Temple, which is the one that we really are trying to get to. I suppose I could have gone like that first. All right, that city's almost ready. Oh. Hmm. Can that Soothsayer grab it? I assume. I assume so. <laughs> Tune in. Very first thing is no Scotland, you rascal. Indeed, indeed. That's not a bad Uluru. Look at all these hills. This would be a cool. This would be a very cool. Um, <laughs> Pag Pagala Palace. Yes, indeed. That'd be a nice Petra, but I, I think it's pretty far away. Thank you for lurking, Noble Zarkon. Two turns on growth. All right. So we don't need this anymore. We shave off six turns and we still grow in two. 
Just finished a Deity Black Queen Wonder Spam game. Turn 154 culture. Nice kit. Well done. That's an incredible accomplishment. All right, we have this city now. I look a lot better <laughs> compared to when instructor ma. How you doing? I th thank, thank you. I don't know how to take that. I guess that means I looked bad before. <laughs> Culture bomb. I love culture bombing mines. It's so nice. Then we can lock in our industrial zone. I know. I love Shaka music. It makes me very happy. Hey. Theology and defensive tactics. I don't hate that. We actually need theology. I need feudalism first. But then we'll think about Mahabadi. It may be gone. It, it's a fairly high demand wonder. And not prioritizing it uh, he more heavily might be our downfall. Oh, that's open. Interesting. Interesting. Getting our nice theater square. I like that. 4-4 four, four spices and they say I cook maps. <laughs> I suppose I should be making mines first, but oh well. Invincibility. I, do I, am I, oh, these? Yeah, I guess I'm, I'm not even settling that. I'm not even taking advantage of it. I want to make this a farm. They have grown now. And I want to continue that growth. I'm going to make this a farm. That'll be my last farm for feudalism. We can finally join a secret society. I still don't have vampires. Where's that scout? Still no vampires. All right. I guess the vamp... Is the vampire dream dead? Do we just move along? I could I could join Void and take advantage of Monumentality for a, lo a while longer. I don't know what to do with our secret society. Um, who does everybody have? Let's look. Does it show me on this screen? No. Void. Void. Owls. Void. Void. Vampires. Owls. So we have three. Void. Guitarja. Pachacuti and Robert. And then we have Shaka with Owls and Norway with Owls. And then we've got Vampiric Phoenicians. I, we already looked at Hermetic and it was pretty trash. Yes. Ten turns and we can chop for our opium. Three turns on growth here. I'm already, I'm already, uh, I can't send her a delegation now because I'm already friends with her. <laughs> Crimes against economy. <laughs> I need more builders. But I really want feudalism. I think now I save, right? 
Now I save for, for feudalism builders. Yeah. And maybe take grants. For Emotep. No, give me the science for now. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to avoid this. I don't know why. It's we're we're giving up a lot by not joining. I guess we're not giving up that much. Like there isn't another policy card that I'm like super excited to have. Like we're still running urban planning. Yeah, we already looked at ley lines. They were bad. There's one underneath our opidum. Hey. So I really need this, huh? Because I need this harbor. Which actually... Oh, boy. Let's go sailing. Celestial nav. And for now, I'll just make what? No, I need to save you for these two and this chop. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to sit. I'm just going to sit for a second. All right, where is your opidum? Your opidum is here. So we should chop culture bomb. And then be able to place it. I get two tiles if I make that, but I don't want to. I want a farm. All right, there's our feudalism boost. We also give them a nice tile here. Growing in five, that seems good. Yeah, we're, we're planning on getting mausoleum in, in our coastal city that we just settled. Nassim! With the 500 bits. Thank you, friend. Thank you so much. Do you want more than this? Just 20. Fine. Thank you, Nassim. Thank you so much for the support. Makes a big difference, and I appreciate it. Um, We can get another district here. Let's go ahead and lock in our theater square. That's what I get for founding your birthplace. Nice. Oh, this? Was this? Alicia? That's fun. What do you want? Uh yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can buy things. Norway did not want to trade with us last game. Uh oh. Shaka has niter. Maybe we don't want to war Shaka. <laughs> Why do you have niter already? It's only turn seventy five, bruh. Can you chill? Let's, let's let's start using this. Is this worth? How are our amenities? I actually think it's worth. It's eight amenities. It should put a, push us up at least a tier level. And I'm getting enough out of our other trades that... Uh, I don't know if that updated or not. It did, but we're still only content. Lame. Lame. Fine. I didn't want to be happy anyways. It is not that life There you go. That's a nice tile. We can work that. 
Maybe up here now? Or do we want to come down? You know what? Maybe we should come down here. Yeah. Hey, Vontigo Way. How you doing? Oh, it was this one. This one. Got it. <laughs> Alexa, we were the Gauls lost to the Roman army. So we got rid of that city afterwards. <laughs> Good to know. Thanks. Thanks. I love, I love the history lesson. Uh, chocolate. We already have chocolate, but this will give me something to sell. For 12 gold per turn. Easy peasy. Give me the culture bomb. Thank you. Just the mere mention of chocolate makes you want some as soon as possible. <laughs> I mean, chocolate's pretty glorious. I get that. I do get that. All right. Theater square next. We're, we're way good on our gold in here. We should try to sell more iron. This is getting worse. This deal's getting worse all the time. Thanks a lot, Lando. Hey, Flapjack. I hope you're having a good day as well. I'm trying to diet and your wife bought M&M's, which is basically a war crime. <laughs> Jeez. M&M's didn't know they had it so rough. Who got the highest score? Pachacuti with 25. I could have easily gotten a soothsayer. Oh, well. Oh, well. Get our next district here. Campus time. Commercial hub could be fine, too. I could put their commercial hub here and then eventually put our caps there. <laughs> Still catching up on Nubia? Awesome. I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Science or gold? I think the gold might be slightly more useful, especially if we wind up going owls. I don't have a holy site. I can't... I, well, I could build a holy site here and build the temple here, technically speaking. I need the city to get bigger. Hmm. Twenty five production. Certainly, certainly my second best city. Yeah. And I've got eight turns. I can build it in six. Ah, that might be fine. All my wonders in this city. It's okay, I guess. Right, there's our celestial navigation boost. Is that the one where you throw troops into a volcano to get a free soothsayer? Yeah, that's the one. That's the one, Folky. <laughs> nice, Flapjack. Good luck. Um, I have not circumnavigated, and I don't want to, so let's not this era. 
We're already at a golden. Oh, just give me these sweet, sweet feudalism builders. There we go. Here comes the end of the era. That's what we like to see. Shaka in a golden. What are the odds that Shaka stays in a golden? I do not know. Could chop that out here, I suppose, but I just want to get the open them down. Diplo quarter is kind of whatever at the moment. Kind of doing that in a weird order. Because we could have gotten that tile for free. But then I would have had to chop. And I think I want to chop for Maz. I still need to get some ancient walls down. Okay, that finally goes. That's fine. See you, Nassim. Thank you for the support. Have have a good one if I don't see you again. I think once again I can I could technically override this, but or I could technically chop it. But let's just go ahead and get it. It's a lot of production coming online for us. Where does their industrial zone go? If I settle here instead, I can get this campus. Which is slightly better than this campus. This industrial zone's not great. Can't really make it great though, huh? I guess that one. Kind of. Should I get Monumentality Builders? I will be spending all of our Faith on Builders uh, and much of our Gold on Builders within the next few turns here. We're almost at Feudalism. And actually, maybe I should wait three turns. And grab a couple extra Builder Charges there. I also don't want to cle clear this yet. That way. Uh, Marcusy, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. How many more chops do we have left in the cap? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, seven. We have seven more chops in the cap. That's so many more settlers. Anybody want this? Nobody wants iron. Okay, iron is passe. Okay. I know. I would like to stop all the, chop all that stone in the cap, but that's not in the cards right now. Or at all in this game, really. 
Don't want to go that way. Tornadoes. Tornadoes are the worst disaster. They don't do anything for us. And they make me very nervous to move this settler. Do I delay the harbor for Aeroscore? It's only a plus one harbor, sadly. I don't think we'll ever be able to create a splendid harbor. Because of gall, gall. Because of gallbacks, drawbacks, gallbacks. It's not great. No one's working on merchants at all. It's interesting. Is that faith you see on the stone? No, don't. Look away. Look away, Red Borg. We're hideous. <laughs> I have regrets. Alrighty. What was that for? Oh, feudalism. I'm not going to delay feudalism for one era score. No, thank you. Now we do this. And then we go a little bit ham on some builders. We'll continue to spend all of this before the end. Do you want to give me your void? And you're fighting with Robert. I don't think we're doing men at arms. Shaka already has has a uh, musket potential here. I really want to get these walls. Ideally, we're just chopping. We have 8 of 10 housing. So if I chop this and make another farm, that should be fine. Hey, T. How you doing? Oh, speaking of which. It's cold now, but still delicious. Just had a job interview. How'd it go? Three thirty for the next builder. We're only going to be able to get a couple more builders out here <clears throat> before the end of the era, sadly. Oh, and I should settle this city. We've got the feudalism now. Don't worry about it. Boop. I mean, that's a solid Colossal Head, but I just want a Culture Bomb. I don't think well it was the second interview. I'm sorry to hear that, T. 
You're interviewing two people today. You're the nervous one. Uh oh. I saw that you guys are hiring. That's exciting. Always, always fun to be in a position to be hiring. <clears throat> Can get these tiles as well. Probably should. Alex, you were in an interview to earlier too. Everybody's got opportunities this year. That's exciting. All right, I think I can take this back now. Yeah, I'm pretty happy working all these tiles. <clears throat> that seems okay. Every time I ask them how they handled the pandemic, they switch the subject and dodge the question. Uh, that's not ideal. Oh, Bandon Dunes, and they kept calling him Brandon Dunes. Oh, that is awkward, huh? <laughs> that's really funny. Oops. Does anybody want our horses? Anybody horsing around? Yeah. No one wants these still. No. Interviewed someone for the first time a few weeks ago. Weird being on the other side of the table. I've done a lot of hiring in my time. I actually I actually enjoyed the interview process. I, I, I did I did a fair amount of hiring for retail and then eventually for like office type stuff. Um And I loved I loved the retail hiring a little bit more. Because oftentimes we were looking for like cashiers or like high school high school level you know job stuff, and it was very it was very it was a challenge to get the high schoolers out of their comfort zone where they could like t where you, where you could like get a bit of their personality out, uh, and so it was always fun asking weird questions. Uh, I remember I remember one interview asking somebody about Skyrim. <laughs> I just wanted to see his passionate take on this thing that he mentioned that he was interested in, you know. Uh, Lactalian? Thank you for the follow. Academia, so so it takes forever for a response. Oh, I hear you, T. I just want these tiles as well. Related, I absolutely Civ 6 is one of your skills on your resume. <laughs> I mean, I could actually do that, right? What tiles are you working? Let's get another builder out of you. That's awful, Paisley. Four interviews, four interview rounds, and it took six weeks to get a startup job. <laughs> startup culture is awesome because it's like, are you going to be able to pay me next week? And sometimes the answer is no. But that sounds brutal. Want all these tiles. Can I culture bomb Shaka's food tile? No, you can only culture bomb unowned tiles. Skirmishers. Three turns on the era. What's our next faith cost? 175. 
So if I wait two turns, I should be able to Faith and then Gold buy one. And then we'll be done with that. I guess we're going to stay in Monumentality. There's no reason not to. So I don't have to super worry about spending all this perfectly. I was looking out of, out of an interview and I wasn't sure how it had gone. The inter interview had asked you, so is it worth... Me getting Rise and Fall then, I had mentioned being a mod at the Civ Fanatics at the top of your CV. <laughs> Ron, your CV. You got the job. I love it. That's amazing. <laughs> Video games, man. I'm telling you, they bring people together. Uh-oh, rip that scout. That scout's dead. Super dead. Okay. So I have both of these cities, uh, settlers, done. We could certainly come down here and try to sneak a city. I, I, I definitely go up here. Do we keep making settlers or do I want to pull back? It's turn 86. We have two, four, six, seven, about to be eight, nine, ten cities. I could certainly put it in another coastal and I could certainly do something up here with this uh, spice tile. I think I make a couple more settlers. <laughs> we were walking back to reception when he dropped that bomb. That's awesome. I really love that. Culture bombing is my favorite thing. I think I want to chop this and culture bomb all this. That seems good. Uh, race bus. Thanks for the follow. Pound. Pound. Thank you so Hello much. There, TGM. I swear I've been here longer than thirteen months. But <laughs> man, does time fly. I'm in it for the long. Go. I I love it. Thank you very very much. Yeah, I don't have to worry. I don't have to stress about every single thing here. That'll be good. Thank you, Bone. Welcome back for 13 months. And, uh, you know, time flies when you're having fun. Or something. And thank you for the ongoing support. I appreciate it very, very much. I honestly just want you to chop at our cap now. Rip Anshin. Yep. That scout died. Alright, let's not... Let's not go mess with it further. Run away. Run away! Remember you're excited to see 100 viewers consistently? I, I, I still get excited to see 100 viewers, to be honest. The fact that we have so many people watching makes me incredibly happy. I appreciate everybody taking the time to uh, hang out here and spend wonderful, wonderful moments. Punny, punny times here. All right, I guess I'm building workshops. Ugh. I'm gonna hold these. Maybe we do this. I don't need that yet. Let's not. <laughs> I know. We have so many gall puns. Mechanic doesn't like workshops. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I don't like it. So I was going to culture bomb all this. Which means I should really... You know what? I'll just do this. Because then, boop, we get all of this. And I can let all of the rest of this go. No, I still want these two tiles. Boop. All right, you've got your opium. I think campus.
All right. Is there a better... I would really like a better Mahabadi. But I think we should just commit to it. Let's just see if we can get it. It'll help dictate our game. Alright, and as we go into the medieval era, uh, we are still societyless, which is kind of kind of odd, uh, and probably a mistake, although I feel like we're we're doing fine in this game thus far. Uh, so we'll go ahead and put a cut in the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching over on YouTube, uh, we may war Shaka. I don't know. I'm nervous that he's too far ahead of us, but we'll we'll cross that bridge uh, eventually and figure it out. So thank you so much for watching, and we will see you all in the next one.